boy, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Akakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great moonstone that rule impeccably well. And Shalom to the Akim that's pushing his truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Akanam for the GMS England branch. This will serve as an in transit additional video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there, a few sisters listening and also learning. Now this video is going to be um, heavily inspired by Holy Conversation. Holy Conversation that was um, between myself and a particular brother, you know, also in the faith. And, you know, we were basically going back and forth, you know, just talking about, you know, prophecy, you know, talking about, you know, the trials and tribulations that you experience in this truth. And also talking about how, you know, things are going to get much worse before it gets better. All right. And this is, you know, definitely something that we all need to keep in the forefront of our mind because the scriptures say, you know, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shimei Hashem. All right. Much tribulation. So. <clears throat> When we read, you know, the stories of old, all right, regarding, you know, the prophets of old, you know, the disciples, the apostles, when we read all of these stories and we read all the accounts of the trials and the tribulations and, you know, the times that spiritual intervention had to be, had to be, um, you know, manifested to get particular men out of particular situations, all of that is coming, all right? All of that is coming and greater. Because remember, when we go to Daniel 12, verse um, verse, verse one on down, it tells us that, you know, there's a, there's a time upon the face of the earth that's gonna be like no other time, all right? So it's not gonna be comparable to any other times that's ever been experienced upon the face of the earth, man. So. When we then go back to um, the scripture that tells us that through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Shai, it makes perfect sense. All right, we have to go through much tribulation, and that's why the scriptures also say, and I done a video on it a few days ago regarding you know the righteous shall scarcely make it. Okay, because what we're gonna get in the kingdom. All right. What we're going to get in the kingdom is going to really, really make us understand that everything we experienced on this side was really a light affliction. Okay? It really is a light affliction, like the, like the scriptures tell us. However, we're in the flesh, all right? And the flesh perceives things different. Okay? And that's why we're in these chains of darkness, as it, as it tells us in the book of Jude, man. All right? Because the flesh is what we're laboring to get out of, okay? This is why we're doing the work. This is why we upload videos. More importantly, you know, the fear of the Lord, all right, is what's fueling us and aiding us to keep carrying on, all right? But then we have to remember that us coming out here on the highways and the byways, us doing these videos, studying, you know, seeking, seeking the, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, all right? We're all doing it so we can obtain, you know, things pertaining unto the kingdom, everlasting life, okay? The things that were promised unto us, all right? By Yahweh Shai, if we would labor and if we would trust and have faith in him and follow him, okay? We know there's a reward. Just like the disciples knew that there was a reward, you know, they asked you how was shy, you know, what would they get, you know, if they follow him, all right? And he told them, you know, you gonna get many things. And the scriptures also say, you know, in my father's house, 
there are many mansions and I go and prepare a place for you. So, you know, when we, you know, think of the kingdom, our minds can't even really fully, fully conceive the kind of blessings that we're actually going to get. Okay? Because if we just deal on the level of us being immortal, never dying, all right? That is, that is like, <laughs> that is a, that's a heavy blessing, man. You know, never tasting death ever again. Never going through pain, never going through trauma. Never having trials and tribulations ever again that you can't get over, that you can't handle, okay? We're literally gonna be perfect because we're not gonna sin. As it tells us in John uh, chapter three, and uh, verse 4 that um, you know sin is transgression of the law we're not we're not going to transgress the law because we're going to be perfect we're going to have the law written in our inward parts and the law is going to you know do away with that stony heart and he's going to give us a heart of flesh so we're never going to go off which means that we're going to be perfect which means that we're never going to provoke provoke Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to wrath ever again. So we're going to constantly be in pure and good standing with our Heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? So we got to remember, like it says in Daniel, this is going to be an everlasting kingdom, man. A kingdom that's never going to be overthrown by any other nation ever, ever again. Alright? These things are coming. These are the blessings that we are laboring for. Okay, so of course, if you're laboring for such blessings, all right, that no other nation, by the way, upon the face of the earth has ever received, then it's gonna come with a hefty price. It's gonna come with tribulation. It's gonna come with heartache. It's gonna come with pain, okay? It's gonna come with, you know, taking L's and being humiliated, okay? And we have, we have perfect examples in the great men that, that came before us, King David, you know, Masha, Yahweh Shai, you know, the greatest example being Yahweh Shai, man, all right, he was greatly humiliated, he was greatly chastised so we could even have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, if, if the Yahweh Shai didn't go up on that cross and die for our, for our transgressions, for our sins, all right, we wouldn't even have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding today. We'll be totally done. All right, so we gotta be, <laughs> we gotta be grateful to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and very thankful concerning this wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding that we have. All right, and that's why we're not to, we're not to um, make it go to waste. All right, we're not to put this this light under a bushel like we ain't got it. All right, make full proof of your ministry. You know, show diligence, you know, to make your calling and election sure. All right, that's why we're supposed to be in that spirit. All right, don't waste the talent, man. So if you waste the talent, you know, we all know the parable about the talents, you know. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will deal with you, man. You got to be about your father's business, man. All right, you got to occupy till Yahweh Hashem Yahushai come. All right, because when he comes, all right, all bets are off, man. It's over. You know, this grace period, you know, that we are currently living through right now, this is a time to get right with Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is not a time, you know, to continue, you know, um, in, in a worldly spirit. And that's why, you know, the, the, the Christian church, you know, the so-called Christian church is completely through. All right. And that's why they're doing damage control right now, because you've got a large amount of people leaving, you know, the, the, the Christian church. All right. And now they're listening, you know, to the to the Hebrew Israelites, man. OK. So we're at the end, man. So this grace period is a time, you know, for 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 you to get right with your how about Shimmy Shai, about Shimon Karkodash. It's not a time to sin. OK. It tells you, you know, in Romans uh, chapter six, you know, it says, do we then make void the law through faith? It says, God forbid, you know, because we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Okay, Judge, Judges 5 and 11. 
All right, that's the spirit you're supposed to be in. That's why it says in Baruch also, you know, now being returned, seek him 10 times more. You're supposed to be in a constant spirit of seeking Yahweh Barashim Yahushai. All right, seeking his approval, seeking to please your Harab Hashim Yahushai the best way that you can in these in these in these um in these chains of darkness that we currently occupy, man. So you can enter into all right that immortality, man, which eventually all Israel is gonna obtain through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashim Yahushai. That's why the scriptures say, and all Israel shall be saved eventually. Okay. So that's the spirit, you know, that we're supposed to be in, man. But we've also got to understand, man, that, hey, we're going to, we're heading into some very, very serious times in these last days, man. All right. So expect the unexpected. Okay. Expect agents, expect spies. All right. Expect Esau to roll on us at any, at any moment. Okay. Things can just change, you know, just in, just in a, in a, in a snap of a finger, man. All right. And then you can be in a, in a situation that you really wasn't thinking about, man. Okay? But what we have to remember is we have the faith. We have this truth. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. So even when those situations do suddenly arise, okay, they're not going to trouble us to the point of destruction. All right? Because we have the foundation. We have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai that's going to keep us calm. All right? And then we know ultimately that... Yahweh Barashim Yahushai is in control of all things. Okay? And that, that gives great comfort and solace to your spirit just knowing that information right there, man. Whatever, you, whatever comes up against you is of Yahweh Barashim Yahushai. He sanctioned it. He sanctioned it and made it possible to actually happen, man. All right? So why would you worry? All right? It's, it's obviously a test. All right? And it's a test that we are making, our equipped, we are making ourselves equipped for day by day by laboring by doing videos by learning by reasoning by having holy conversation with brothers we are equipping ourselves and putting on you know the, the whole armor you know pursuing to the book of ephesians every single day that we are occupied in this faith all right and that's why it's very important it's imperative to keep yourself occupied in doing videos to keep yourself occupied in reading the scriptures okay like you know the elder apostles have been going through you know the breakdowns all right, we got to keep ourselves occupied in the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, soak, soak yourself in this word, man. All right? Because the longer, you know, you refrain from doing spiritual things, all right, is, is the more hold that the world is going to have on you. It's the more hold, you know, that things on the outside of this truth and, and, and the power that that's, it's going to have to pull you back, man. Okay, that's why we got to stay occupied in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, man, so we can stay on that straight and that narrow path, man, onto salvation, Lord willing. And with that, Lord willing, this, this uh, lesson was edifying. And um, until next time, I'll say Shalom.